Since the change of Aeon is taking place now, as it was mentioned in one of the videos, and the current basic religions find themselves in a tough spot, where they are being held accountable, perhaps these are the circumstances which will allow you to go through the process of debaptizing while following a successful scenario, be in the right place in the right time, so to say. And which debaptizing method would be the most optimal in the present time? Thank you for understanding the humor, although the topic isn't very funny. Yes, the topic is both funny and not funny at the same time. It becomes funny after you've gotten rid of it, but until then it's not. Because now, during the period when the religious egregores are in agony, even though they're getting weaker, they're getting angrier nonetheless. If they've got a hold on someone, they are akin to a bull terrier, they won't let him go. Sometimes it happens that they don't keep a hold on someone simply because they have no longer any resources to do that, to hold on to anybody randomly. And this, as they say, depends on your luck. If the religious egregores see you as an insignificant figure, sometimes, especially now, they won't even notice you leaving. You left, and that's all. But if you are significant or just happen to get within their sight, then sometimes it could be extremely hard to get away from them. However, there is still the matter of one's debt. It will be very difficult to get out now if there are debts to Christianity, because currently every sheep of theirs is being accounted for. You should understand that. In this case, you should try any method out there, whatever works. Well, the classic way is to perform the debaptism in a Russian banya, at the crossroads, and in the cemetery. Those are the classic ways that are generally effective. After experiencing severe stress of taking a midnight stroll along the gravestones, standing at the crossroads, and dealing with Banik, the spirit of Banya, anyone would become pagan in a heartbeat. It's also humor, of course, but I hope you understand it correctly. Your intention is very important. You are leaving Christianity. Where are you going and why? Answer these two questions. After doing that, try to understand that if there is a debt, it would have to be settled. On how to settle your debt with the Christian egregore, I would tell you the following, dear colleagues. In spite of it being weak or strong, don't rush to take advantage of it. Simply for the sake of your own self-respect, don't act the way they do. In their time, they crumbled human pillars just by taking advantage of the weaknesses, a certain weakness of spirit and mind. Don't be like that, otherwise, after a while, you would have to face the fact of someone trying to get rid of you as well. Act like a warrior. Act like an honest warrior. If you owe something, you must pay your dues, settle your debt, and maybe even pay some extra just in case. Don't forgive yourself for your weaknesses, and then you won't have to ask for forgiveness from anyone else. Never again. Form an intention, pay your debts. Announce this intent to the system that you are living from. It is fair. If they manage to keep a hold of you, then you will have to fight them. They won't have enough strength, and more likely, you will be free. You will respect yourself even more if at this moment you don't take advantage of their weaknesses. It neither gives them any more strength nor damage. Let them answer for their own debts themselves. But your inner self-respect will allow you to enter your own personal channel of your own God, more likely if you leave the Christian system the way that a warrior would, as a strong player, who by doing so will prove that he is able not to lie, even when it's safe to do so. This, together with self-respect, as well as perhaps the observance of pagan tradition, which doesn't welcome any lies, even to the enemy.
That will be my answer to you. Вот, наверное, как-то так. Я вам отвечу.